Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed that new intro. I just made that for my vlog channel. If you guys want to check that out, it is down below in the description. But let's go ahead and jump into today's episode, guys. I've got two builders available. As you can see, we've got a lot of gold. We've got a lot of gold available right now. Our wizard tower is going to be level 6 like all of the others in one day and 22 hours, which is awesome. Our... Um, Air Sweeper, we could actually upgrade right now if we wanted to, um, but I'm not sure if that's what I want to upgrade. Also, our Queen's level 5 now, guys, which is awesome because she has her ability. So, if you guys are stoked about that, as I am, whew, just freaking give me a thumbs up or something because that is awesome. I've been waiting for her ability. So happy that we have it now, and we're still grinding out some Dark Elixir, but in today's episode, I've got some awesome raids. I tried out two, uh... I tried out one strategy, two attacks, and got some crazy loot for it. Let's go ahead and jump into those, alright? So here's the first attack, guys, against the M-Max. Going up against the Town Hall 9. He's not upgraded that well. Um, but we are still attacking with Town Hall 8 level troops. Besides, of course, our uh, balloons, which we've got five of in here. So we've got a whole bunch of giants. And we've got some wall breakers. We're going to drop our poison spell off right over here. Um, on all of those clan castle troops that are coming out. We'll drop a heal down on our giants as well Yes, we are spending elixir, but look how much there is there's 430,000 elixir on this base <laughs> And we're not spending that much when it comes to spells. We're spending less than a hundred um, And that probably includes our troops as well So we're sending in our wall breakers We're sending in our loons now that that one air defense is down and then our giants are gonna work their way around as well as the uh, king and queen so most the, the thing about this base is that there's loot on the outside, but there's also a lot of loot on the inside. You can see those elixir storages have elixir, as does that dark elixir storage. So we're going to drop off another heal spell right here, keep our king up, get our archers and our wizards up, because our wizards are doing all the damage for us. Queen's working her way around the outside. Um, we dropped off a couple of troops right down there, and I was like, yep, there's Teslas there. Not even going to worry about it. King's still doing good in the middle. You guys can see his full health almost. He's almost at full health. But he's getting shot at by that archer tower for some reason. I don't know why the archer tower doesn't like him, but she doesn't. But we're going to use his ability right there. And they're going to take out the rest of that loot in the middle. Drop off the rest of our archers uh, around the sides. And then our queen's going to come around, clear up a little bit for us, and take out that loot. So it's still 194,000 elixir. We're going to take the rest of it out in the middle with those wizards. And then we've got our queen rolling around the outside. Just used her ability for the first time time ever in this one we've still got uh eight uh, five archers left we're gonna take out the rest of these uh mines and pumps on the right side and then we've got this last elixir storage or elixir drill right here that we're gonna have to uh deploy the rest of those five archers on and they're gonna get as much as they can uh during their life they're gonna get taken out one by one and are actually going to get about 10 to 15,000 elixir from it. So those definitely paid themselves off. But look at that, guys. 770,000 uh, resources. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one of that same strategy. Here's one with the same strategy. Uh, the thing about this is I didn't. I could have just used Barch. I would have gotten the same results if I'd used Barch. So really, I attacked differently than I did on the last one. I just dropped my giants down as a wall, as a distraction for us as we send in our archers and our goblins and a couple of our uh, wizards. And we're going to get all of this loot, guys. Again, this is another amazing find when it comes to resources. I didn't really need to drop off my balloons, but whatever. We're just going to drop them off, let them get in there, do some work for us. Um, and I do still want to try and get 50%, so that's what I'm going to do just because of that extra loot bonus, that extra 35000 um, gold and 35,000 elixir. You can see all we've got now left to do is take out this gold down here at the bottom. Haven't dropped off our king or our queen. Uh, we've got this little bit right here left over to mess with. Go ahead and mute my Skype there for a second. But So we're taking out the rest of this gold. I'm trying to see what's going on. Uh, the archers are in range of that cannon, so go ahead and drop my queen off down here. Let her finish off that gold for me. We're at 39%. She comes in range i kind of sometimes i wish that the troops um were a little bit smarter when it came to knowing that there are defenses like think about this if if this was real we're gonna drop our king off up here and take out some stuff but I, i've kind of thought about this for a little while if, if this was real attacking a base so you're really attacking a base um and you could attack a you could attack 
whatever. Okay. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. I'm going to pause it real quick. So we're going to go down here. So uh, this, this army camp right here, here's what I'm trying to say. If they gave the troops some sort of knowledge, like they do when they actually attack, if it was real life, the queen would have gone around to this side by the tree so that she wouldn't have gotten shot by the cannon. I've just thought about that. I don't know if you guys have ever thought that that would be cool um, for them to choose which side of things to attack on, but then I'm sure that would be extremely hard for them to program and whatnot. But um, we'll go ahead and attack real quick, come back, and upgrade a couple things, all right? So we're going to try and go in on this base. Um, looks like a lot of the buildings on the bottom are being upgraded, so that is going to be the side that I'm going to attack from. I'll go ahead and drop off couple archers down here and then why was it still counting down even though I dropped off my archers that's funny and then we're gonna go ahead and do uh, this drop off a, oh my gosh and all that crap right there what the heck drop off a couple of giants to um, do some damage for us and then we're gonna drop off some wizards to start clearing out some stuff as well go king queen go heal spell Go lightning spell on this mortar. Drop off a couple archers over here. Our golem on the right side is still doing really good. It's taking all that damage for us. Um, our king and our queen are doing a good job as well. We're definitely going to be able to get a good amount of this gold. Go ahead, use my king's ability right there. And hopefully the golem is still tanking, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Yes, head in, head in, head in. And we're not even going to worry about it. I'm not going to touch anything else. My golem is still tanking in the middle. Uh, for us our queen is doing good. I got to get used to having an ability for her But as you can see our golems are now in the middle. We are going to get all of that dark elixir Hopefully no stay alive. Why is the golem not getting all that aggro? Um, like those wizards. Are, okay good the wizard was getting shot I was about to say but we are getting all of that dark elixir. They are still going around the base guys That golem still has the aggro. We're taking out that other gold storage this turned into an epic attack. Those golems tanked perfectly. Could I, I wouldn't change anything about this attack. I legitimately would not change a single thing about this attack. And you know what? Honestly, if... Oh, well, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I was going to say, if those troops around the outside stay alive, we may even be able to take uh, all of this out and get a three-star. The golem babies, the little rock monsters themselves, are still up. They just went down. So now it's just our queen and whatever these other buildings are that are left. Now here's the question. What do I want to do? I'm going to go ahead and just use her ability, get her back up to full health. And, uh, oh, do we think we can get it, guys? No, there's no way the queen can finish all that off by herself. Uh, well, you know, she might be able to because a lot of those buildings are going down. Let, you know, let's play this out. Let's see what happens because she's got a couple of archers with her. We're taking out some of this other stuff. There is still a wizard tower and a cannon up. Um... But, again, that Tesla's down, that Wizard Tower is up. We've got 34 seconds. What do you guys think? Do y'all think that she's going to be able to take it out? I really don't know. And I also don't know if it's worth it. If she starts... Okay, she's not shooting a wall. Come on. Oh, this is going to be epic if she does take it all out. Oh, no, I don't want to lose her. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Ugh. It would have been close. But, guys, look at that loot. That's what I'm talking about. 341,000 gold, 111,000 elixir, two. 1,321 Dark Elixir. That was awesome. That strategy worked perfectly. I'm going to go ahead, train that same thing up again. And uh, let's see, we had one Golem, one Golem. We had one, two, three, four, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I'll do that later, though. Guys, thank you so much for y'all's support. Everybody who genuinely is a true Molt fan, I love you guys so much. Uh, if you guys ever want to see like what's going on in my life, Head over to my vlog channel, Molt Vlogs. I'm just hanging out over there recording stuff for y'all. But let's go ahead and upgrade some stuff. Um, do I want to save up for the Expos? That is one question. We are very, very close uh, to getting that up. 10 more damage, 10 days on that bad boy. I don't know if I want to upgrade that or not. Why don't we go ahead and like upgrade a cannon or something? So we could upgrade this cannon right here, and it would be done in 5 days. It would give us 10 more damage on that, which would be really good. We could upgrade our mortars, which is seven days. I might just go ahead and do that, guys. We're going to upgrade that mortar right there. Boom. Upgrading the mortar, and then we've got enough elixir. Nice to upgrade an army camp. Sweet. Upgrade that army camp. That is what I'm talking about. I didn't. I totally forgot about that. We're going to be able to hold more troops. Freaking sweet. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next episode, all right? As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on. Later, guys.